On August 12th, Democratic Senators Dick Durbin from Illinois, Richard Blumenthal from Connecticut, and Ed Markey of Massachusetts sent letters to dozens of EdTech companies and data collection firms voicing concerns over the amount of student data being collected and how it is being used. For e-learning inside, this is Ed Technically. My name is Henry Kronk. This week I'm going to discuss the letters those senators sent out, who received them, and some of the concerns they raised with them. So one stock letter was sent to a wide range of EdTech vendors, developers, and service providers. The senators cite an FBI public service announcement issued last year and the hack of Slate, the college admissions database, as major concerns with the practices that they're carrying on. As the senators write, quote, these stories and warnings are occurring with alarming frequency. Beyond serious safety and security risks, students have little control over how their data is being collected and used. Students and parents are often unaware of the amount and type of data being collected about them and who may have access to it." End quote. The senators then pose a list of questions to the EdTech companies involving topics like how data is collected, how it is used, and what would happen to it in the event of bankruptcy, a merger, or other situations that might befall a private company. The recipients of this letter ranged widely in size and scope. Uh, they included some usual suspects uh, when it comes to data privacy issues like Google and Facebook, and they also were sent to major incumbent education publishers like Pearson, McGraw-Hill, Macmillan, Wiley, and Cengage. Other recipients included learning management system developers like Instructure, Blackboard, Moodle, Sakai, and D2L. And then there were many smaller developers of EdTech products and solutions like Scootpad, Flocabulary, CCKF, which are the makers of Realize It. Some of these companies haven't been through major funding rounds and might have employees numbering fewer than 10. Uh, it's unclear how this list of recipients was decided. And a few notable arrows might have missed their mark. For example, while Facebook is widely used in the K-20 learning space, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, which is the philanthropic LLC launched by Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan, has dedicated a huge amount of resources towards developing personalized learning. That's a pedagogy that requires a huge amount of data collection. One of their largest EdTech beneficiaries, Summit Learning, which is offered to schools across the U.S. for free, has come under fire for its data collection and sharing policies. CZI did not receive this letter from the senators. Also, while organizations like College Board and ACT were named, uh, people involved in standardized testing and college admissions, Education Testing Services, ETS, which produces the SAT and numerous other standardized tests, did not receive a letter. And uh, by the way, ETS has revenues that exceed both College Board and ACT. They also offer their data to researchers on a limited basis. Now, the senators sent a second letter to a smaller list of data brokers that deal specifically with education-related data. Uh, I'm just going to read a list of these. They include Accurate Leads, American Student Marketing, Amerilist, ASL Marketing, Caldwell List Company, Complete Mailing Lists, Data Masters, DM Databases, Dunhill International List Company, Exact Data, 
Info USA, Lake B2B, NRCCUA, and scholarships.com. The senators ask many similar questions of these data collection companies as the ed tech vendors. Answers to both lists of questions are expected by September 3rd of this year. To conclude the letter, the senators write, quote, We urge you to make a clear commitment to transparency for the children and young adults who use your products. We encourage you to adopt a comprehensive data privacy policy that ensures your company is directly obtaining informed consent from parents and students and allows parents and students to fully delete any data retained by your company, end quote. This has been Ed Technically. My name is Henry Kronk. I work as the editor of eLearning Inside. If you want to find uh, links to these letters, please check the description below this episode or please visit the story uh, on eLearning Inside describing the move and the letters that the senator sent. Uh, if you like this episode, please rate and review. If you want to hear more, please subscribe. Also, keep in mind that this show is available as a video on our YouTube channel and also as a podcast on iTunes and Stitcher. The basic content for this first appeared as an article on eLearning Inside, and if you want to learn more about online courses, technology in the classroom, and ed tech in general, please be sure to check out our site. If you'd like to get in touch with me, please send an email to henry at elearninginside.com. You can also follow us on Twitter at elearninginside. Thanks for listening.